It's funny, and then um, everybody, you know, Bobby came on, De Niro, and and Morgan uh, Freeman came on. It kind of picked up steam. And the irony was, I think probably was, that none of us had ever worked with each other. Kevin Klein included. Not one of us had ever worked with the other person. So I think we saw a chance to, you know, have some fun, uh, a light, uh, amusing picture, and have some fun and get to know each other. He has a, um, uh, a great uh, neurotic uh, way of dealing with uh, pressure, and that's finding humor in any, in any situation. And um, so early on, I wasn't sure, you know, what kind of director he was going to be, but early on, I saw he had great taste, I mean, kind of in, in his, his choices, and he was loose enough. They did a very smart thing, I think, in establishing all of our characters as kids, sort of in the, in the front titles, uh, beginning credits. And they got some amazing kids to really give you an idea of uh, who they were when they got older. I mean, the guy, the kid who plays Bobby, but <laughs> puts you away. So I think audiences kind of saw that, and, and uh, they know with, with each kid, they were in titles, they gave the name of who you were, so you smiled. And then the screen says, 58 years later. And they crack up right from there because they, they, they just know. And these four guys come back together. And there is a, a heart and, and a, um, um, just, just a warmth about it that I think made all the jokes play that much better. Billy's a... Um, uh, Billy's a guy who never kind of grew up, you know. Um, he's a uh, successful uh, Los Angeles uh, attorney, corporate attorney. He's been having a pretty good time his uh, his whole life. Never bothered to get married. Just having a you know going along, but finally decides you know what it's uh, it's time. Um, and over the um, over the uh, burial of his partner, his senior partner, who brought him in, uh, and kind of gives him a sense of real uh, a wake up call about his more, more, uh, mortality, uh, he decides to to spring the question on his thirty year younger girlfriend about let's get married. Well, one of the things about Las Vegas is they try to outdo each other, you know, for the high roller suites they make. And this one, um, although it was a, a set, uh, was a beautifully designed set uh, for a four-bedroom four bedroom suite, which got a lot of use with little pools inside. And we, uh, we basically get upgraded um, because of uh, how successful Morgan was at gambling. They like to keep you close, and so you gamble some more. Morgan's also able to work out because there is turning out to be a big b bikini contest um, in town, and uh, Morgan bribes the, uh, the owners of the contest to let us be the four judges, and uh, it's a pretty hilarious uh, sequence. He's got a, a, a wonderful style that he's honed down in, in, in how he works. Um, and just, a, just a, a, a pleasure, you know, it, it really was. And you see he's got such a great sense of, uh, of honesty. And um, really, I thought both of us were able working together to kind of bring the, um, the, uh, the heartbreak aspect of, of Last Vegas, which kind of makes it sort of special um, to heart, you know, and, and um, it, it was a joy, and I'm so proud and happy that I've gotten to know him and can consider him a friend. When you're working with good people, with really good actors, it, it just makes everything uh, easy. It's it's like a, like a good dancing partner, you know. Everybody's holding up up their part. Um, you you recognize you've all done enough movies 
independently to know how fortunate you are when that that ensemble feeling happens and you overlap effortlessly and there is a feeling of, of the bond and the friendship.